Bath in the defence of the Tenants' Trophy, and there should be a huge roar here in just a couple of moments because the next match on sees Rangers meeting Dundee. Well, there's uh, Dundee starting the second game. A, a nice touch about them. They came down with supporters in the bus. They just filled the bus of players and supporters. Nice family touch. And I think we should all applaud this for what is decidedly a family occasion. Families have been pouring in. More pour on the wings all morning. There's an attempt at a shot, a good save by Hamilton. And the coins. There's a shot. Roberts, and he's done it. Beautifully put in by the Rangers captain, Graham Roberts. 1 0. Not an easy chance at all. The shot by McCoy, and he took it first time, controlled it, and drove it away to the goalkeeper's right. Before he could get back, 1 0. You will probably have gathered that are one or two Rangers supporters in the hall this afternoon. Dundee stung by that, no doubt. I must say that he started very promisingly, led by this man here, Jim Duffy. Once a longish one, and that's well saved. And he's done it again. <laughs> oh dear, the greatest goalkeeper is having some mental blanks. Good shot, that, that was fine, but what happens next isn't correct. Well, what was about to happen next, guess what happened next? He threw the ball out, he didn't roll it. Slightly lucky that time. Well, that's careless play by Rangers. One each. Scored on there, Tommy Coyne. Well, he took advantage of uh, what was a glaring mistake by the Rangers defence. Looked extremely casual. And there he took his chance very well indeed, Coy. One each. That's the Rangers bench. Recognize some of these faces? If you don't, then don't be at all surprised. These are some of the young boys. They'll be coming on shortly, I'm sure. Duffy. Don't give a dead well, but he gets it in. A good recovery there. And Coy has scored his second goal. That, of course, is not Coy. That was Duffy, but the scorer was most certainly coin. We'll see him getting the rebound there. Took it very well. And Ooh, almost a misjudgment. There's McCoy. And there goes the halftime whistle or the halftime horn. And uh, Dundee are leading by two goals to one and deservedly so. They did much the major part of possession. And Rangers, obviously, will have to fight back from this. Well, Rangers have a huge support in us all, not surprisingly, and I think you'll hear them in the second half trying to rouse Rangers. There's a chance. West can't put it away. Now they could McCoyst. That's back there by Vince Manny. Free kick, and it's a free kick to Rangers. A little bit of a dispute down there as to who would actually get that, but it is Rangers' free kick. Graham Roberts, Rangers' goal scorer with it. <laughs> Rangers putting the pressure on now. That was Ali McCoy, first with a the foot, then with a the hand. Roberts. Rangers have picked up the pace a little McCoy's free kick yes brought down by Rav Shannon under 21 internationalist and Shannon actually has his young nephew over from Australia watching him play in this game must score he doesn't <laughs> West does two each and there is the fast range of support to say about Rangers, they never play away from home. That's never been more true than this season. 
there was a miss by McCoy. That was a very narrow angle, but West put it away. McCoy is off, and Robert Fleck has come on for Rangers. Robert Fleck has been scoring very prolifically for the Ibrox club. There's Roberts. Many. And it goes. Rules a very good save by the keeper. That was really flying in. Uh, West. Roberts had run forward. Monroe is there. There's Roberts. Oh, it's almost and he almost screwed that round. Excellent shot there by Roberts. Here's West. He'll go for the shot. Now, if the scores are level at uh, the end of full time, we'll go into a penalty decider. All matches are decided that way. And indeed, it was Duffy who scored from the penalty spot three times. That's how he got his hat trick in the last tournament. Now he's got to roll the ball out. Long way to go yet, yeah, a full seven minutes to play. That's Duffy, that was a poor ball forward. Colin Henry, too many. Good ball to the outside. Dundee keeping possession well. That, of course, is invaluable in this kind of football. Henry. Duffy. Rangers simply letting them come forward, hoping they make a mistake for a quick break. Through marking, and the goalkeeper got a touch to that. And there's West to Roberts. To Monroe. To Fleck. Far too slow, and here's a great chance for Dundee. Oh, he scored beautifully put in there by Ross Jack. 3-2. Rangers caught out again. Thoroughly deserved, all on his own. Slack ball in midfield, and Rangers thoroughly punished. Three two behind. There's West. There's Monroe. That's an excellent save, and Fleck comes up. I thought that was a trifle harsh. Free kick anyway to Rangers. Dawson. Fleck. Dawson's with a chance. And it's in an own goal by Duffy. Oh dear. Oh. Well, that shot unfortunately is unavoidable in this kind of football. If you get quick rebounds, as we did there, the poor soul couldn't get out of the way. Just watch it. Bang! There was the rebound, and Rangers get an own goal equaliser. Yeah, it's fouled by Rafferty on Jimmy Nicol. We have just under four and a half minutes remaining. Nicol to Flack to Dawson. To West. Ooh, he rifled at it. Break there by Rafferty. This has turned out to be an excellent game. The deep bench. That's Rafferty. And just under three minutes remaining. Nobody likes to go to penalties in these circumstances, but that's what we do. But 
but this game has turned from one side to the other so quickly difficult to predict exactly how it'll break out looked like a handball but Valley Dawson has it Rafferty Duffy decided to come forward can't get the shot in way out far side Colin Henry making a mess of it West has come back for Rangers Jimmy Nicol right in the corner with them is Ross Jack now West oh no that was too deliberate and easily read by Duffy and Rangers may be punished and suffer for missing something like that something as straightforward Ali Dawson on the break it's two against two Monroe giving support West looked like a hand certainly looked like a hand but the referee just turns away as Rangers couldn't put in the killer touch Duffy Ian Angus oh it slipped under the goalkeeper Rafferty 4-3 and only two minutes remaining for Rangers after that strike by Rafferty there to save this game. Dawson. Here's Monroe. giving support I think he might try one he does it as well say notice how far out the goalkeepers are coming to narrow the angle it's good goalkeeping well, the Dundee look favorites at the moment deeply broken up there by Ali Dawson now Jimmy Nichol here's West it's a bit too high still in play though Duffy gets it away Dawson Touched by the goalkeeper and wisely because the time is ticking away for Rangers. They have exactly 50 seconds remaining. Somebody's forgotten to take this. A lot of wasting of time going on here. And there's nobody there for Rangers following up. And the D look as if they're going to win this one. However, Dawson. Easily broken up there. Duffy. Ten seconds remaining. But need, need only keep possession. Three. One second left. And there it is. The D of beating Rangers by four goals to three. Rangers pushing in a competition for the first time in a very long while. And that is the scoreline, and thoroughly deserved by Dundee. And there was a key man, Jim Duffy, who made the blend absolutely right. Jim, great win. You've obviously cracked the method of playing sixes. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, the surface is a lot better this year. Last year, I think you found it yourself. <laughs> to my cause, uh, that's right. the, the surface was a wee bit sticky. But it's great, so that's why I think there's a lot more goals. Uh, five in the first game and seven there. That's right. So I think that's better, that's what the people want to see. Right. Bigger goals, of course, there's always a temptation to have a shot, That's right, uh, if, you, if you see it opening up, you just have a crack and you know you, yourself. If it comes after boards, the strikers are there to finish, that's what they're for. That's right. so, I think you must enjoy this game because a couple of years ago with Morton, you went all the way to the final, didn't you? That's right, uh, I think we were going through a bad time at the time uh, they bought me a league and uh, that was a great break for us. We got to the final and played Hearts. I think that's Hearts actually going to be strength to strength there. Uh, so I'm hoping that you can do that tonight. Absolutely. Well done, Jim. Thank you very much, Diggy. Cheers.